Um, sorry. Remember how I hijacked your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. Well, remember how I put that wiretap app in Akechi's phone? Basically, that let me see GPS info for two phones, yours and his. I'd be able to tell the precise moment Sai Nijima, who had your phone, ran into a catchy. That's when I saw my chance and beep, sent the signal to activate the Metaverse Navigator. But there was a chance they'd just pass each other without saying a single word. <laughs> That's why we needed you to tell Sai Nijima to show the phone to a catchy. This plan still surprises me no matter how many times I hear it. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse Nav. It's a mysterious app, after all. But you know how it has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? It may not have looked like it, but everyone else was risking their lives too. Though there's no doubt you were the most at risk. I mean, you actually got arrested. But it seems like all the drugs and stuff made you forget the details of the plan. Want me to explain how it all went down? It might take a bit. Well, since the rest of us didn't get captured, we had to act. We had to pretend we never wanted you to get arrested. Pretend the suicide news was a real shock. Basically, we had to act like we didn't know anything, 24-7. The enemy knows who we are, so we couldn't let our guard down even once while you were gone. If they had people watching us and realized what our plan was, they would have killed you immediately. Want to hear more? Another tough part was figuring out how to get Sai Nijima and Akechi back from the metaverse. In order to return to reality, you have to go back to the point where you came into the metaverse. So, Sai and Akechi had to go through where the nav was activated, as in, the hall where they met. Akechi would just come back the same way after the assassination. The real issue was Sai Nijima. We needed to stop her for a moment before she headed back toward the interrogation room. But nothing can be sent to a phone inside a palace. So, I had to program the messages in beforehand. In doing so, I made it seem like the messages were coming at that exact moment in time. That part was kind of last minute, so I had to pull an all-nighter trying to get it set up. I'm really on a roll here. Want to hear some more? Let me see... Another problematic thing was... Oh yeah! Tying a catchy up! That was really tough! Uh, I obviously don't mean the real Akechi. Even if we could do that, it would ruin our plan. The one we had to tie up was Sai Nijima's cognitive Akechi. This part's really complicated. I know you're tired. Are you sure you want to hear all of this now? Well, we needed to lure Akechi into Sai Nijima's palace and have him kill the cognitive version. But Akechi would have entered the palace immediately after meeting Sai Nijima in the hallway, right? Because of that, there was a pretty decent chance he'd run into the cognitive Akechi. And if that happened, Akechi would have totally realized we'd lured him into the palace. Nobody actually even thought of this possibility until the night before the assassination. Makoto realized in the middle of the night, then it was a huge mess trying to figure out what to do. In the end, we chose to sneak into the metaverse while the plan was happening to tie up the cognition. Because you told Sae to show him the phone, we expected her to chat with him for at least a bit. So, we had a few minutes to strike after the cognitive Akechi showed up, but before the nav activated. It was Operation Tie Him Up! Though it wasn't really much of an operation in the end. Thankfully, Sai Nijima didn't know his true nature, so the one that appeared was an ordinary kid. It was pretty simple surrounding him, knocking him out, and tossing him on another floor. But man, watching Makoto's skill was super amazing. I guess she does use Knuckles as her weapon. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, appreciate what everyone else did. <sighs> I just can't help but rant when I'm talking about stuff that interests me. Sorry about that. Just focus on resting up. You don't have to worry about anything else. And seriously, well done. So. Well, 
How do I put this? He won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This will be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well then, we should get to sleep. You know, something that Futaba said before, when you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up a reading of someone who came to your rescue. Was that... So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. There's no point in even having an election. Shido's gonna win. Of course, he's the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there's just an aura about him. Like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it. I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those phantom thieves were nothing more than scum in the end. I'll show you.
All right, let's head to the Diet Building. Make sure you aren't discovered, okay? You're done for if you get caught, right? Oh, just... The stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. Akeshi isn't here. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Conditions have since not he's been going met. to subjugate everyone as Prime Minister, perhaps a school? Have what not about been met. an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial been Palace? Conditions have not been met. It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Well, maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. That man over there is probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me, I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action, with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. An exemplary answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. But no matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. To save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh.
Save them both. I can do this. You need to trust me. That's incredible. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then. One diamond mine. Conditions have not been met. No good. How many do we miss? <sighs> Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to diet building, too. So you enter keywords into the metaverse navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Akechi. Him and his stupid composed face. So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then, was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines, I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Butaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too dangerous a method. <sighs> well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? To everyone gathered before Young and Jaya Station. Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! 
I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! Talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! Hey, Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! By the way, did something happen? You didn't seem well a moment ago. Uh... We will be counting on you. Now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals, and criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope. So our children who carry the burden of the next generation can be strong of their country. So our nation can once again become a powerful one with abundant wealth and luxury. So our beautiful home will be acknowledged as the best country in the world. Wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back! I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, brat! You're that asshole we met at the hotel before. At the elevators! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? What are you talking about? That moron! Come on, stop! But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? Save a show. Get lost, kid. Damn brat! I'll sue! What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. Ugh. What a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? Wait, he's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy? For real? Seriously? You're sure, aren't you? And who ruined your life? Holy shit! I don't believe it! <sighs> Let's get going, okay? Shh! 
Cheeto's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? Talk about a destined connection. Cheeto was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Cheeto was already a politician then, yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different! But now that we've found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. Ugh, that's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the diet building is will be despicable, too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel 
feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over to do this. Real? Security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become Prime Minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people... Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. 
Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? It was a match? What? The Diet Building's a ship? What kind of scenery will that be? The actual building's on land! I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in! Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. Alright, do it. Anything change? We went in, right? Security guards seem to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sis's palace. But this time, the Diet building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier, though. Wait, look! Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Come on, let's go take a look. How's it look over there? See anything? Nah, it's totally normal. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's up, Futaba? <laughs> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <gasps> the hell? Huh? <gasps> Cognition is about, huh? This is bullshit! A country that children can be proud of my ass is completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. The same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well. Yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? Whether it be for glory or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this. We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. I can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure. All right. We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin. Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. Wait.
<laughs> Is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to keep his guests entertained. Indeed. Those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. Oh. <laughs> oh. What is these people? Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. <sighs> come on, let's make him see what this ship really is. It's a treasure chest! I'll reveal your true form. match for me. Huh? Oh, a treasure chest. I'll reveal your true form. going.
go down. Open it. Huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. There are slots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. Since there is no one against the plan, this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we're on his side. You sure move on quick. But what's this qualification thing about? Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? That thought never crossed my mind. Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in, even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around! Well then!
treasure chest spotted. Must be. This is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. The casino earlier looked pretty real too, but talking with these guests was a whole nother story. You have that right. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right. Let's put together the information we gathered. Huh. Gotcha. You're right. It seems... Um... Please hear me out. No use! I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head! I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? Really? Wow! We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards. But only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. All right, 
Let's get this done quickly. Hey!
Nice. It's me. Sorry, I know you're tired. It'll be a sec, just hear me out. I've decided what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. Yeah. Man, you knew this whole time, huh? I want to avenge you, that's a no-brainer, but that's not it. If we let him run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them? Remember when I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. <laughs> hey, once we change Shido's heart... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. Please don't take off my nerves. Revealing Hey! Okay, quiet down. Hey, are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Welcome! <gasps> what did I just say? Fine. Senpai? You, you're not like a stunt double or something, right? I don't know what's happening, but I really hope this isn't a dream. Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Oh, thank goodness! I'm just so happy! No one cares about my scheme! Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're... Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety. Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I'd promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. What a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. 
Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... Uh... I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader, but if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like yours, Senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. <laughs> it was nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... Senpai? you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so this is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but we really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well. I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... I really do believe you. get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you.
okay. Indeed. I see. Very well. <laughs> Beautifully executed. I can compliment you this time. Well done. You have far exceeded our original expectations. This may not be a proper thing to say to an inmate, but you have done extraordinary work. You're a real handful, but I gotta give you some credit. As for the next task we will assign to you, there is nothing. You have fulfilled every duty available to you. As the ones who rule over power, our role is... <gasps> rule over... power? Why did I say that? Uh, a voice is 
echoing in my head. Justine? It, it is nothing. Just my head. Uh, 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 these memories. The one who first wrote this list. Uh, it was me? Or was it us? Just... Uh, what are we? My apologies. Don't worry. This has happened to me, too. Inmate! This is all your fault for not keeping your mouth shut! Caroline, do not shift the blame onto him. I hope you know you're a real handful, inmate. But fine. I'll grant you that privilege. We've really gone soft, huh? Perhaps... Perhaps you are too embarrassed to admit how much his concern pleased you. No! Anyway, we're gonna give you a great ability this time. You're gonna cry tears of joy when you get it. And, um... Inmate, there's no doubt you're a problem child. But honestly, we're real impressed that you conquered all the trials we put forth. You hold a surprisingly great potential. So, fight. I'm sure you'll be able to accomplish anything you put your mind to. And you'd better put a stop to the ruin, okay? Trickster, I believe in you. Prove to us that you can reach the truth. We will be waiting for you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of strength, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Be careful not to lose focus. You're still in rehabilitation till you can get out from behind the bars. Got that, inmate? Yes. Justine, registration, are you sure? The inmate needs our guidance. Let's execute him! Let us begin the search. Will this truly help you? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive some new power. Girls, let us begin. Okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive extraordinary power. Girls, let us begin.
You okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Receive so <laughs> I see. I see a strong persona indeed. Great things are possible. Do you wish a fusion? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. some new power. My, my. Can you gather them up? You change your mind. You'd like to read the compendium? Read here. This persona? A fee is with this is your power. This persona? A fee is required. Then accept this persona. The inmate must exit now choose.
illusion. Now choose! You change your mind, Justine. You have these are the paths you have walked. But you will withdraw this persona. This is your power. Time for let's execute. Now choose. Looks pretty tough. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive some new power. It will receive some new... <laughs> I see. Them. Looks pretty tough. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. you'd like to inherit.
It will receive extraordinary power. My, my. Let us begin the search. You wish to move to a world beyond this one. It will become something protective. It appears it will become something protective. Change your mind? You'd like to read the compendium? You'd like these are the paths you have walked. You'll withdraw then accept this persona. A fee is required then accept this persona. Draw this persona, this is your power. This you will withdraw this and accept this persona. Is required then accept this persona are you finished what no slacking off so yeah
good day.
back. Hey, 
Hmm. I'll just add this. What do you say? Hmm. Thank you very much. Actually... Until next time.
Well then. Please take your time. What do you want to do? Very well. <laughs> Beautifully executed. Thank <laughs> you. 
indeed. Why? Let us be off. Hmm. Yes. See you later. Ah, you're back. This makes me want to go up into the mountains and blast a few rounds. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Grateful. I guess that's fine. 
You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Uh, come again. Time of year when schools hold their athletic meets, huh? Those starting pistols aren't ours. Huh? How's that? Uh -huh, that's a bit. Mm, that one good. That's what you're choosing. Do I get? Hmm, that sure thing. A shotgun, huh? Huh? How's that? That's what you choose. Good. Hmm, that one. Do I get? That's what your short thing. Hmm, that one. How's that? That's what you're good. Hmm, that don't break it, okay? That's what your short thing. Hmm, that you better not use it to pull a prank. That's what you're choosing. Good. Nice weather like this makes me want to go up into the mountains and blast a few rounds. That's a pretty good bargain. That's what you're don't break it, okay? Hmm, you better not use it to pull a prank. That's what you're to do, I get? Okay. That's what you're choosing? <sighs> Take your time. Hmm, how's that? Okay. Come again. What's up? Good.
Yo. <laughs> Sorry. Yo. Later. Okay.
Hey, hey. I should write something. Very well. <laughs> Beautifully executed.
Excuse me? Um... Good evening. I 
look forward to it. Um... Thank you very much.
Let's go. Wow. you. What do you like?
indeed. I see. Very well. <laughs> Beautifully executed. Oh! 